And ahead of it, as we've been talking about, it is a mild morning. It's below freezing in Park City, but barely where it's 31. It's near 40 in Salt Lake. It's a 10 degree reading in Roosevelt. Granted, that is very cold, but not to the extreme that it has been lately. And in St. George, you're hovering uh, near 40 as well. Fair skies in the south, clouds moving into the north. Radar detecting a few snow showers to the north of Utah, but those will become widespread later today. There's a strong cold front dropping down out of the Pacific Northwest that'll cross the state moving south during the day, and the front will stall out uh, by this evening across southwest Utah into southwest Wyoming. And along behind that, we get the widespread heavy snow. But out ahead of it, some very strong winds developing in southern Utah today. In fact, wind warnings and advisories go into effect at 2 p.m. with some of the winds uh, later this afternoon into tonight, possibly gusting between 55 to 70 miles per hour. So if there's anything you don't want blown away that might cause some damage, uh, make sure you secure that this morning before the winds get going. Otherwise, a light south wind will help the temperature climb into the mid 40s in Salt Lake fairly early in the day. That's why initially uh, what we get is going to be rain in the valleys, snow in the mountains. Uh, that becomes most likely uh, late morning and then into the afternoon when that cold front arrives, it'll be changing over to snow. It'll become heavy at times later tonight into tomorrow. Taper off early Thursday and we're still expecting a, a couple feet, potentially up to four feet in some places in the northern mountains out of the storm, a foot or two in the central and southern mountains as well as the Wasatch back. We might end up with eight to 16 inches of snow along the Wasatch Front, up to 20 inches potentially on the benches. Several inches possible in a lot of the valleys, two to five, though in Casa Country in South Central Utah, Lower Washington County could get one to four inches of snow along with a big drop in temperature. You'll be down into the low 40s tomorrow as well as Thursday and then warm up by the end of the week. But at that point, another system will uh, bring a chance of a few rain showers for you. And for northern Utah, it gets a lot colder tomorrow. We're only going to peak near 30 in the afternoon. By Thursday morning, we'll drop into the upper teens. By then, the brunt of the storm will be over, but another system could bring lighter snow showers on Thursday and Friday, and then we'll get a break heading into the weekend. But